Testing, test, test. Testing, test, test. Welcome to the 2024 Premier Goat Show. We are excited to kick off this year's show and sale. Before we get started, we would like to recognize another award winner. This is our 2024 Rookie of the Year Award. Our team once again nominated a group of impressive up-and-comers who are making waves in the industry both in and out of the show ring. We let you all decide by popular vote who you wanted to see win this year's award. The winner of that vote and the 2024 Rookie of the Year Award is going to Starpoint Livestock. Unfortunately, the folks from Starpoint could not be here with us today, so their friend Bella is here to accept their award on their behalf. Starpoint Livestock is owned and operated by Scott and Erica Batchelder. Originally from Northern California, they are both involved in the livestock industry heavily. Officially started in 2020, Starpoint Livestock was started as a livestock show consulting business between the couple with a focus on cattle and goats. Erica specialized in livestock photography and manages social media accounts for several livestock and agricultural outfits. Scott is currently an agriculture instructor and will be transitioning to becoming a herd manager for a large Angus outfit this summer. Over the years, Starpoint has become more and more focused on breeding goats, mainly focused on producing high quality, competitive boar goats, intended for fairs, jackpots, and expositions. Although they have only started raising goats in the past four years, they have had some notable wins they are proud of, including champion lightweight and reserve champion lightweight doe at the 2024 Cal Poly Western Bonanza, 2023 reserve supreme market goat at Santa Barbara County Fair, 2022 champion lightweight doe at MCJ Showdown in Motown, and 2022 reserve champion doe at the Twilight Madness Show in Arizona. I think we can expect to see a lot of really great things come out of Starpoint Livestock. Please help me in congratulating them on being voted the 2024 Rookie of the Year.
listeners, this is first call for class two. Second call for class two. We would like to take a second to thank our sponsors for the Premier Goat Show, RSG, Cambridge Technologies, Umbarger, Mountain View Machine, Testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Weaver, Durfirm, Perina, Kambach, 212, Showrite, For You to Win Supplements, Sullivan Supply, Reynolds Farm Equipment, W2, and Auction Impact.
Testing, one, two. Results for class one in first place, R1 board goat slot 403. Second place, slot 511, Peterson Livestock. Third place, slot 486, Rothenbuehler Family Farm. Fourth place, slot 502, Maynard Board Goats. Fifth place, slot 526, Pickering Show Goats. Sixth place. Lot 547, FSB Show Goats. Seventh place, Lot 465, Casper Farm Boar Goats. Eighth place, Lot 545, Ian Snowburger. And ninth place, Lot 410, Benary Boar Goats. And then tenth place, This is first call for class three.
Consigners, if you are first or second in your class, we need you to stay back and take your picture over here to my left at the backdrop. Results from class two in first place lot 522 Rocktown Showgoats. Second place lot 487 Rothenbuehler Family Farms. Third place lot 532 You cheap and goat Frisco producers. Borgoats. You expect more from your nutrition program. Place, and now you can get more with Durafirm Mineral, powered by Emifirm. Retain more embryos, see more live births, wean higher performing healthier lambs and kids. Strengthen your stock with Durafirm a line of nutritional supplements for sheep and goats that supports optimal digestion and nutrition for maximized performance at every stage of production. Learn more or find your nearest dealer at www.durafirm.com. This is second call for class three. Class three, we are needing lot 441, lot 450, lot 460, and lot 461.
Well, first of all, I, I just want to say thank you guys, um, Dan and Carol, for having me up. Uh, my name is Shannon Scott, and I'm from Nevada, Missouri, and, and uh, while we raise show cattle and show goats, and uh, my wife, Chris, is sitting up here, and, and my two boys are uh, Spencer and Skyler. Uh, Spencer's the judging coach at Redlands Community College, and my youngest son, Skyler, is the judging coach at Texas Tech. So we get around and go to a lot of shows and, and involved in a lot of this and, and really enjoy uh, be able to get a uh, chance to have the opportunity to come up here and do this. This is my first uh, chance to, to be here and, and be a part of this and uh, what an event it is and uh, Jared, like I said before, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to come up here and line them up. Nice pair, first class here. We got started out with a bang here and one that I thought was a pretty easy winner in that particular class uh, just in terms of the build of this one here, the quality that she represents. She's got a big back, she's got a good rib cage laid in this one here and then whenever you add that added feature with just that extra stoutness that this one has, I thought she was a really good one. I'm not going to tell you she's perfect in her front knee and I'm not going to tell you that we wouldn't like to extend her out just a little bit as we study her in terms of her hip, but I really like the pieces, the parts of that one there, and I think uh, in that particular class for sure she was the one that needed to win. We get up here to the, Eric, the one that was second in that particular class. I, I thought in terms of a look and, and a quality standpoint, very, very good. I love that one there. As you study her up front, she's a little more up and out than the one that beats her in that particular class. Top line hangs in her good, and then whenever that one gets out on the move, uh, where she's really good is she's so good out of her hip and her hind leg holds everything together. For me, she just needs to be just a little stouter, just in terms of her build. Needs to have a little more forearm, a little more foot in that one there, and then whenever we get to the back of her, needs to be just a little stouter as we study her uh, in her upper hip and go to the ground in terms of her rear leg. Another real powerful one here that comes out in the second class, and uh, this was the power go to this particular group. She's by quite some margin, the most opened up as you get up in the front of her. She's got a great big back laid in this one here, and her rib cage and upper rib cage it is so, so good. Uh, got an incredible touch to this one here. You get out in behind her and she's got a wide open hip. She's square there and then whenever she gets on the move, uh, she's more than acceptable in my opinion. For me, for one that's this, got this kind of upside power, wouldn't mind seeing her just a little stouter as we read her uh, in her front forearm, front foot, the same things we could say as we go from the, the, the back rear leg of that one there needs just to be just a notch stouter there really stout featured when comes out too in that particular class I love the extra feature. I love the bone. I, I like that kind of stock. I like them ones that's got that extra wop to them whenever you study them in terms of their forearm and front leg. Good in terms of her top line. Got out here and when she got on the move, moved very well out of her hip and hind leg. For me, she gets just a little flatter. She gets just a little plainer in her muscle shape. She wants to close up up front just ever so slightly. She wants to get just a little flatter through her center body there. So I thought a really good way to, to get out here in this first division and, and get us going. I think the two goats that are in contention here to win this are the two that's on the front line. I think they're very similar. I think they both handle good. I think they're opened up with a tremendous amount of power. They're both in the rib cage, good through their center body. Uh, just got that extra power that I was looking for out here in this particular division. The one I like best comes with just a little stouter. She's a little stouter in terms of her rear leg, just a little stouter in terms of her forearm. Your champion will be out of her first class. So reserve will be our second. Congratulations, you guys. Your Division One champion comes from class number one, Lock.
Class four, we still need lot 549 Rothenbuehler Family Farms, lot 406 Dice Livestock. Results for class number three in first place is lot 534 JP Livestock In second place lot 441 Cornell Club Goats Third place lot 460 Smith Showstock Fourth place lot 461 Smith Showstock Fifth place lot 450 Kepler Livestock Sixth place lot 524 Pickering Show Goats 7th place, slot 445, Lugnut Boar Goats. 8th place, slot 462, Casper Farm Boar Goats. And 9th place, slot 499, Hogger Livestock.
This is your first call for class number five. This is your second call for class number five.
Results for class number four, first place, slot 468, SNR Meat Goats. Second place, slot 549, Roth and Bueller Family Farms. Third place, slot 442, Cornell Club Goats. Fourth place, slot 523, Rocktown Show Goats. Fifth place, slot 485, Dietrich Show Goats. Sixth place, slot 406, Dice Livestock. Seventh place, slot 420, Irwin Show Goats. Eighth place, slot 539, Roberts Farm Goats. Ninth place, slot 447, Kepler Livestock. And 10th place, slot 498, Hogger Livestock. We are now shown for medium division champion. Class 5, we are still needing lot 455 and lot 428 and lot 540. Another really nice division with a lot of high quality goats in them and uh, really happy with the four that we got out here just in terms of their build of quality, their kind. Uh, goats that can uh, get out here and move around, keep their backs flat, their heads up and move around out here. Uh, I, I like that about them. I thought in this first class of this division here uh, had a really nice winner in here. I, I like the body shape first of all of this goat here. She's really good as you study her in her forearm and just work your way back through the center body of her. She's very, very good. She's big in her upper rib cage, and whenever you get up and handle this one here, uh, she is by some margin in that particular class, the biggest, hardest back one. Get in behind her, and she's the one that's opened up with the most upper hip shape, got the most turn and shape to her leg. If she is quiet, I'd like to change this one here just a notch there in her front knee. I like to push it back and relax it just a ever so slightly. And for one that's got that much upside power, she could be just a little stouter for me in terms of her bone work. One that's a little bit of an upgrade just in terms of a crazy good looking one uh, with a little extra feature is the one that comes out in two in this particular class because uh, she is really good looking as you study for this one from the side. Awesome in terms of her bone work and her feature. Really gets her head nice and tall out of the top part of her shoulder. And then whenever she gets out around here and moves around the arena, does it so, so well. For me, she gets just a little flatter. She's a little flatter in her rib cage. And then whenever you get up on top of this one here, she just doesn't handle with that big square back. That's that extra power and shape in her upper hip. Is that one that beats in that particular class. But I do like that one's front end quality. I like her feet and legs. And I like the build of that goat. The one that wins our uh, heavyweight class here, this uh, second class of the middle division here, is a tremendously nice goat. Uh, balance, build quality kind of got it all packed into one here you get up in the front of this one here she opens up good it's got a big blade and forearm awesome in terms of her center body get up and handle this one here and she's got a big square back that starts at the top of her shoulder there at the front works all the way back and progresses back so good I think that one there is very very good we could extend her out in her hip just ever so slightly, uh, but in this particular drive, that's a really nice goat. I thought just a real solid goat comes out second in that particular class as we just went to line on the mud. This one here had probably the, the second least faults for me. As we get out here, she's one that balances well. She's got some feature to her. Her feet and legs are good. She's just a notch plainer maybe as we study her up in her chest there. Gets just a little flatter through the center. This one here and doesn't handle and touch quite as big as either one of the two on the front. 
front line here. So I thought there was a pretty clear-cut winner in this division here for sure, and that's going to be you, young lady. Uh, reserve is going to be the one that comes out here out of our first class. Congratulations to all of you. Use Precision Vaccinology to create a custom vaccine that specifically targets the organisms present in your animals. Find a flexible solution that can be adjusted according to the strains animals are exposed to in the field. HERD-specific vaccines allow you to add or remove an isolate and quickly respond to a new organism introduced into your herd. Precision Vaccinology aims to select the right isolates for use in your product. We use next-generation diagnostics to identify pathogens associated with the disease and sequencing techniques to characterize different isolates based on genetic diversity, which allows veterinarians to choose the best candidates for inclusion in your vaccine. The next step in precision vaccinology is quality custom manufacturing. Optimizing virulence factors such as toxins and outer membrane proteins Using the right adjuvant or no adjuvant and having the right delivery system are all important factors in making a vaccine that fits your needs. For more information, visit our website or give us a call and a representative will be happy to assist you.
This is your second call for class number six. We still need lot 478 from Davis Livestock.
Results for class number five, first place, slot 455, Beatty Show Goats. Second place, slot 436, Pit Lick Boar Goats. Third place, slot 428, Redlands College. Fourth place, slot 471, Dirt Road Show Goats. Fifth place, slot 552, Morlock Showstock. Sixth place, slot 433, LK Farms. Seventh place, slot 540, Roberts Farms Goats. Eighth place, slot 505, Good Times Show Goats. Ninth place, slot 434, LK Farms. Tenth place, slot 435, LK Farms. This is first call for all division champion and reserves. Just a little reminder for everybody here today at the Goat Ring at 4 p.m. We will be doing the Friday Night Lights preview.
Results for class number six in first place, slot 478 Davis Livestock. Second place, slot 497 B&T Boar Goats. Third place, slot 496 B&T Boar Goats. And fourth place, slot 495 B&T Show Goats. Goat consigners, if you were a champion or reserve in your division, we need those does up here for the overall grand drive. With a really nice way to end up our uh, last division here and the one that wins that uh, first class of this last division this is a really nice show goat here uh, this is a high quality one this first thing you notice uh, when she comes in is, is this one here's uh, front end quality is extremely good awesome headed great neck everything seems to blend opens up with enough power touches great good set of feet and legs that's a really nice one there now to get on her just a notch if we want to she could be just a notch bigger uh, just in terms of her feature but uh, that's a really really nice one right there that comes out and leads off that particular class another really high quality one there and she just keeps working her way up with the quality that she has uh, she's another one her front end quality is extraordinarily good she opens up good in her chest she's really poked up good in there good in her fore rib good in her shoulder everything uh, really matches and fits well as you go through the center part of that one she's another one that can get out here get her head up maintain uh, keeping her back flat or her hip level I like all those things about her as we make it just a class comparison to the one that beats her there she just not enough of her and just in terms of hard shape as you get up and touch that one's back you get up and her upper hip and steady her through the center part of her leg just doesn't have that same kind of wide open build that same kind of extra horsepower as that one that let us off a nice set of does here that come in our, our very last class of the day and the one that wins that particular class she's just the freshest one at four she's the one that uh, just holds herself together a notch nicer she's a little better in her chest she blends a little bit better through the center part of this one's body but her big advantage is when you get up on the top of this one she just handles so much bigger fresher and square as you come down her top side as we compare her back to the other three that was in that particular class she could be just a notch stouter as we compare in terms of her bone work and her feature back to the other three that was in that particular class as well because she probably ranked four in that particular class but I think just in terms of positives when you talk about build balance touch uh, all of those things still holding together she's the one that needed a win big stout featured one comes here in two and I like that forearm front leg and blade on this one here this is just good stock good practical dough that you can take home and, and turn out and and do your really good job because she's got some real pieces and she puts it together with some flexibility now you get up and handle this one here and, and at her age she's lost a little of that cute look she's lost a little of that hard muscle shape when you get up in the top of her and she just doesn't handle as big and square and as fresh as, as, as some of them others as the one that beat her in that particular class Class, and then whenever you get up in behind her she wants to close up just a notch as she goes away this is a really nice set of does there's a pretty darn easy winner in here in my particular opinion this one right here needs to win and we're going to follow her up with the one that was second in that particular class let's give them guys a nice hand that's a good set of does
Your heavyweight division champion goes to lot 455, Beatty Show Goats, and your reserve goes to lot 436 from Pit Lick for Goats. This is your first call for Class 7 Weathers. Congratulations to all of our uh, division winners out here. I think a really a nice set of those uh, guys uh, watching online. Uh, there's been a lot of really good ones come through here today, and, uh, and there's a lot of them that didn't get out here uh, in this particular drive that uh, got some really neat pieces and parts to them uh, that uh, kind of depends on uh, beauty in the eye of the beholder, what you like, what you need in your particular breeding program uh, that you might like. Uh, some of the ones that went out there and I, than I did today uh, as I made a comparison back to these here and, and that's fine it just all depends on what you like uh, what your program is and, and where you're headed and, and what you want to do but I'm very very happy with the group we got out here I like that little doe that we started out with there just in terms of her build her balance the feature that one's really cute got a great look and build and touch to her uh, she is just a little the ground as we get her out here and compare her to some of these others in these particular classes and maybe like to pick her up in her hip just a notch but I do love that goat that's a high quality goat that puts together build and balance awesome feature to that one there very very good the one that was second in that class another really high uh, quality doe one that really opens up good up front got a great big back really opens up good from behind just needs a notch a feature for me out here as we compared her back there to the one that beats her in that particular division but a really really good one and then i thought things really started to heat up here in our second class uh, our second division this is a really high quality goat that comes out here and wins that one that in there uh, quality bill balance she puts all of those things together uh, with a little extra feature and a little extra look and when you put all that together that makes for a really nice show goat we could change her just a notch and how she change how she hooks up into her hip and and how she wants to tie up there in her hip just a little bit uh, where she transitions from her loin to her hip and then we could square her up just a notch there uh, maybe in her tail set but that is a very high quality goat that puts together a tremendous amount of good things. Another goat that I really, really like was second in that particular division. If you just like them round and you like them big back, you'll really like this one because that is a really round body big back one that opens up with a tremendous amount of power and you get right in behind her she needed to be lifted up in her tail and have just a little extra uh, bone for me as we study her in terms of her rear leg but i do like that body shape i like the way that one's opens up that's a high quality goat one that wins this last division that's a show goat and it don't take long to find her out here when she comes in she gets her plopped up from the side that looks 
look and presence that she gives us from the side is extraordinarily good. The pieces fit. Uh, just start at the front of that one there and work your way back. She's opened up up front. She's bold in her center body, opened up in her upper hip. And then whenever you get up and grab that one there, she grabs uh, extraordinarily well. I think that's a very, very high quality one there that wins our last division. Another really good doe that's got a tremendous amount of front end quality is the one that was reserving that division. Uh, don't have one out here that's any nicer as you study her in terms of the way she fits in her chest, the way she goes into her shoulder, and the way she gets that neck up out of the top of there. She's very, very good. She's flat back. She's flexible. Gets out and gets on the move and, and moves accordingly. For me, she needs a shot more hard muscle as you get up in the top of her. Needs to be opened up just a notch from behind, and I wouldn't say that she was the biggest bone when we had out here, but I do think adequate. I think that's a very, very good one. For me, uh, there's one that needs to win, and then I think there's one that just needs to be reserved. A heck of a nice show if you guys would. Let's give these guys a nice round of applause. I'll get your champions. Your grand champion doe goes to lot 455, Beatty Show Goats, and your reserve overall doe goes to SNR Meat Goats, lot 468. Elite Sheep and Goat Producers, you expect more from your nutrition program, and now you can get more with DuraFirm Mineral, powered by Emifirm. Retain more embryos, see more live births, wean higher performing healthier lambs and kids. Strengthen your stock with DuraFirm, a line of nutritional supplements for sheep and goats that supports optimal digestion and nutrition for maximized performance at every stage of production. Learn more or find your nearest dealer at www.durafirm.com.
This will be your first call for class number eight. We are still looking for lot 443, Ian Snowberger in class 8, and then lot 527, Pickering Show Goats.
Results for class number seven, first place, slot four, five, six, Beatty Show Goats. Second place, slot four, five, eight, Beatty Show Goats. Third place, slot 402, R1 Boar Goats. Fourth place, slot 503, Maynard Boar Goats. Fifth place, slot 546, FSB Show Goats. Sixth place, slot 548, FSB Show Goats. This will be first call for class number nine. First call, class number nine. We're still looking for a couple lots there for class number nine, lot 513 Peterson Livestock and lot 424 News Livestock.
Results for class number eight. First place, slot 457, Beatty Shipcoats. Second place, slot 551, Oklahoma State University. Third place, slot 443, Ian Snowberger. Fourth place, slot 527, Pickering Showgoats. Fifth place, slot 446, Probisco Board Goats. Sixth place, slot 519, Harris Livestock. This is first call for class number 10. We also need our first and second places from class seven and class eight. This is your second call for class 10, second call for class 10.
Your results for class number nine, first place, slot 459, Beatty Show Goats. Second place, 424, News Livestock. Third place, slot 507, Ferris Livestock. Fourth place, slot 412, Schieffer Livestock. Fifth place, slot 513, Peterson Livestock. And sixth place, slot 473, Sweetwater Board Goats. Class number 10, we are still looking for a lot. 542, Smith Showstock. Well, an impressive uh, first division for sure, and I think uh, uh, one in here that's a that's a real uh, standout and a real good one. We'll talk about him in a minute. And uh, but I think if you're kind of watching online, there's uh, three or four of them in here that would be very high caliber, good show goats as they mature and head down the road. And I think one of them is the one that wins this uh, first class here. Uh, this is a good look of him propped up from the side get out here and he really runs uphill he maintains a good top line his bottom or his underline stays in him good get up in the front of that guy and, and he opens up in his chest good I like all those things about him he could be just a notch bolder right there as we study him in terms of the center body this guy as he starts his shoulder and works his way back and when we get up into his upper hip he could be just a notch stouter there as well but a high quality one as that one builds to his mature builds with some maturity builds to that frame there's a lot of things Things to work with. The stoutest one of that particular group uh, in that first class was the one that comes out here in this little paint. That's the big forearm, big bladed one there. This is the boldest in his center body. He touches the biggest up high and he's the most opened up in his upper hip. His, or his balance just kind of get, got away from him as we studied him from the side. He wants to drop out in his chest there. He wants to get just a little off there in his hip as we compare him back to the one that goes out ahead of him. But a nice pair of goats, kind of contrasting in terms of kind, but both of them very high quality. 
really good goat that comes out here and wins his second class. And if you just want to talk about one's hip and hind leg, and you just kind of want to draw it up in terms of whatever species you want to talk about, this one here is very, very good. His hip is awesome. His hind leg is set right. And whenever he gets out on the move, he really opens up out of a big flexible hip. He's got a big, nice, soft hind leg. Whenever he gets out on the move, I like all those things about him. And then whenever you come to the front of this guy, he's opened up enough. He's big in his blade. His form is awesome. Uh, for one, it's got that kind of feature and that kind of hip. If you want to pick on him just a little bit, he could be just a notch bigger there in his loin as he progresses out of the top side of that guy and works his way back. Uh, but I like the bill, the balance, and I like the quality and the kind of that one a good deal. One that was second in that class, really solid go. Just practical in terms of his kind. He's good enough in terms of his bone. He's good in terms of his center body. He balances up nice from the side. He's one that we could open up just a little as we get in from behind him. Maybe just not that quite dynamic look from the side as a couple of these others have out here, but a really nice one. Our last class, he's a power goat. This guy is big up front. He's bold in his center body. You get up on top of him, and you guys can see the same thing I can from ringside. He's got a nice groove working down his back, and he touches accordingly. That's the big back one of this group. He's got a nice shape there to his hip. Change this one here just a notch. I'd change him up in his hip structure just a little bit. like to pull him up in his tail set and lengthen him out just a notch, but that's a very high-quality goat. As that one works his way through the summer, I could see him being a very, very competitive one. Another nice one here, the big featured one comes out here second in that last, uh, the last division there, that last class. Uh, big stout legged one, big footed one, bold in his center body, like all those things about him. He gets just a little off there in his front knee, wants to quiver on it just a little bit, and then whenever we get right in behind the guy, uh, he can close up just a little bit there in his upper hip as well. So, nice set of goats out here. Uh, I like a pair of them a great deal. The one that comes out of this middle division, he's going to be your champion. Congratulations to you. The one that comes out and wins this last division or last class, he'll be reserved. Congratulations to all of you. Your lightweight division champion is lot 457 Beatty Showgoats. And your reserve lightweight division champion is lot 459 Beatty Showgoats. This is your first call for class 11. First call, class 11.
This is your second call for class 11. Second call, class 11. We are still missing a couple here for class 11. Lot 479, Davis Livestock. Lot 538, Shaw Show Goats. And Lot 525, Pickering Show Goats. Results for class number 10, first place, lot 475, AC3 Livestock. Second place, lot 542, Smith Show, Show Stock. Third place, lot 535, Shaw Show Goats. Fourth place, lot 536, Shaw Show Goats. Fifth place, lot 451, Flat Rock Farm. Sixth place, lot 494, B&T Board Goats. 7th place, slot 409, Benary Boar Goats. This will be your first call for class number 12. First call, class number 12.
This is your second call for class 12. Second call for class 12. Class number 12, we're still looking for lot 512 Peterson Livestock.
Results for class 11, first place, lot 538, Shaw Show Goats. Second place, lot 533, JP Livestock. Third place, lot 437, Pitlick Four Goats. Fourth place, lot 479, Davis Livestock. Fifth place, lot 531, Triple M Livestock. Sixth place, lot 525, Pickering Show Goats. Seventh place, lot 438, Craig Family Livestock. And eighth place, lot 432, LK Farms. This will be first call for class 13. First call, class 13. We also need our first and second places from class 10 and class 11. I'd like to take a moment here and thank our sponsors, RSG, Cambridge Technologies, Umbarger Feeds, Mountain View Machine, Weaver Livestock, Dur Firm, Perina, Kambach, 212, Showrite, For You to Win Supplements, Sullivan Supply, Reynolds Farm Equipment, W2, and Auction Impact.
Results for class number 12. First place, slot 512, Peterson Livestock. Second place, slot 530, Triple M Livestock. Third place, slot 448, Kepler Livestock. Fourth place, slot 508, Ferris Livestock. Fifth place, slot 439, Creek Family Livestock. Sixth place, slot 493, B&T Board Goats. And seventh place, 472, Sweetwater Board Goats. We need those first and second class or places from class 10 and class 11 and class 12 for medium late um, division champion. We still need first and second from class 10, class 11, and class 12 in the ring ASAP. Good. We are still looking for a lot 475 from class 10, AC3 livestock. This will be your second call for class 13. Second call, class 13. We are still looking for lot 521 Rocktown Showcoats and lot 480 Davis Livestock for class 13. Well, as we worked our way into our second division, I think another really good and competitive division. We started out down here uh, with a really uh, uh, nice goat to go ahead and lead us off here. I think one that just doesn't have a lot of holes in him. Uh, this guy's good up front there. He, his top line hangs in good. He's got a good hit and hind leg in him. Uh, just a good solid kind of a goat that just kind of kept working his way up through there because there's not a lot of holes in him. He might not be as bold in his center body, maybe just quite as wide open as you study him right uh, directly in his upper hip, but a really good goat that I think as he works his way through the summer and matures and exercise, uh, the pieces are there for that extremely competitive as you work your way into your county or your state fair. Next one that comes out here, I think it's another, just a good solid goat, uh, just good practical stock that has a good build, a good balance, a good enough look from the side, uh, just kind of puts a lot of things together. He doesn't put it together uh, dynamic, 
uh, but there's another one here that as you get to go on through the summer, you just talk about his build, you talk about the flexibility, his feet and legs, he's got some good things to work with. Just a little flatter there just in terms of the shape as you handle him up top at this point in time as we compare him back to two or three others out here, uh, but a really nice one there. It's just good stock comes out there in second in that particular class. Real power goat uh, comes out here and he's wanting to be a knucklehead and not show quite as well as he, as he should. When this goat's good and when he's at his best is whenever he's turned loose. And whenever he was turned loose, he was pretty much, for me, easily the winner in this particular class because of his body shape, that extra horsepower that he has. And this is the one that when you get right up in the top of this one's upper hip, you get to the shape of his leg and you get to the width of his pin set, he is very, very impressive. Like I said, it's a little harder to get a look at him because he's wanting to be a knucklehead out here, but that is an extraordinarily powerful goat, good rib cage, tremendous amount of muscle in him. Another one over there that's good stock comes out and too. Uh, he gets out here. He's a show goat. He plops up good for us. Uh, top line's good in this one here. His underline fixes up there real nice. He gets just a little plainer in his shoulder and his chest there for me. And whenever you get in behind him, uh, for me, he needs to be just a little more flexible as you study him off his rear leg. He wants to kind of get a little hyperextended and just a little straight there for me. Uh, but a really a nice, good practical goat. He's got good body shape and plenty of power. Really, the balance go to this particular group for me is the one that wins uh, our last class. When she gets out here and gets him stuck, his color pattern, his build, the balance of this one here, I, I think is very, very good. He's a goat that's real striking as he gets out here and, and gets on the move. He's got a great big back. He's got a wide open hip. He's got a nice hind leg. Get all that put together and a balanced look makes uh, for a pretty nice one there. One that comes out here in the second in that particular class as we, as we worked our way through that one. Uh, this one here just kind of kept and he's kept working his way up because he's got some pieces to him that are good. I like his shoulder, I like his blade, he's good in his center body. But I think the best part about this one here is compared to some of the ones that come out behind him, as you get this one here out and you get him turned loose out on the move, he gathers himself up good, holds his top line together, he works good out of his hip and his hind leg. There's just some pieces to build with. He's just a little plainer in his top line. He wants to get up there in his top just a little bit. He wants to be just a little full looking from the side and just a little plainer through the center of him. But I still think a good practical goat that uh, puts together a lot of good things. There's two of them out here. They look alike. They fit together good. I think they're high quality goats. It's got build and balance. Young lady's going to be our champion out of this particular class. You'll be reserved. Congratulations. Your champion out of your medium lightweight division is lot 512 Peterson Livestock and your reserve out of that division is lot 538 Shaw Showgoats. This will be our first call for class 14. First call, class 14.
This is your second call for class 14, second call, class 14. Class 14, we are still looking for a lot. 423, new slive stock. 423, new slive stock. Results from class 13, first place, slot 521, Rocktown Showgoats. Second place, slot 537, Shaw Showgoats. Third place, slot 419, Irwin Showgoats. Fourth place, slot 490, Kaufman Showgoats. Fifth place, slot 480, Davis Livestock. And sixth place, slot 492, B&T Borgoats.
We are still needing our first and second place from class 13, 521 Rocktown Showgoats, and lot 537 Shaw Showgoats. Let's also do first call, class 15. Results from class 14, first place, lot 520, Rocktown Showgoats. Second place, lot 422, Myers View Farm. Third place, lot 421, Myers View Farm. Fourth place, lot 423, News Livestock. Fifth place, lot 470, Dirt Road Showgoats. And sixth place, lot 444, Lugnut Boars. This will be second call for class 15, second call for class 15. Well, a really nice set of coats, and I thought this division here fell together uh, very well for me. Um, started out here uh, that first division with a with a crazy handling one here. Uh, of all the goats that I've reached up and grabbed today, I'm not so sure that this one doesn't handle as big and as fresh up top and as wide and flat as you work uh, from your loin uh, into the hip of this one here as any that we've had. And then you get in behind him; it's got a good shape and a good turn to his leg. 
uh, body shapes, awesome, awesome on this one here. He handles hard. I like that goat. I think there's a real future in him as he works and, and goes through the summer. I'd change him just a notch, and then in his rear leg just a little bit, I could square him up, especially as he goes away from us and see him handle it just a notch different. But that's a really nice goat here uh, comes out with that particular class. I thought the one that was fit in here as second was just another real solid goat that put together a lot of good things just in terms of what one needs uh, to put together. He's big in his blade, he's awesome in his front leg and forearm there, good in his center body, uh, just really puts together a lot of things in a real flexible, uh, good package. You get up on him though and he doesn't handle with near the same kind of muscle and hard muscle shape and just expression as you work your way down his top side and then whenever you get right in behind him just doesn't have that same kind of explosive upper hip and turn to that leg. Get into this class here and this is a nice show goat here. I, I like a lot of things about him and, and he's like the one that comes out that wins that first class. He handles so good. He's got a great big fresh back. Uh, body shapes good get up in the front of that guy and he really opens up good and then the one thing that I really like about this goat he's got a really wide skull his eyes are wide apart and he's got a little bitty short attractive ear and and that really adds to the quality of that guy if I was going to change uh, one thing about him here he could transition just a notch better uh, there in his hip loin if you do that then he's a real bear cat for today but I think as that one goes on down the road and he gets chubby and matures and things work his way. Uh, I like that one a lot. One that comes out over there in two, he's like our second in that particular class winner there. He's just a nice show goat. He puts together a lot of good things there in a package that's flexible. He's opened up. He's got enough bone. He's got a nice hind leg and hip on him. Just doesn't handle with that same kind of hard uh, muscle shape in the top side of that guy as these two on the front line do. Well, I like both these goats a great deal. I think they both come on a real powerful, real opened up package. I like one of them structured just a notch better than I do the other one. This one here will be our champion. Congratulations. This one will be reserved. We are still looking for lot 483 Dietrich Showgoats for class 15. Your champion, medium heavyweight champion, lot 520, Rocktown Showgoats, and your reserve, lot 527, also Rocktown Showgoats. We are still looking for lot 469, SNR Meat Goats for class 15. This is your first call for class 16. First call, class 16.
This will be your second call for class 16. Second call, class 16. This will be your third and final call for class 16, third and final call, class 16.
Results for class 15, first place, lot 418, Irwin Showgoats. Second place, lot 476, AC3 Livestock. Third place, lot 401, R1 Boar Goats. Fourth place, lot 469, SNR Meat Goats. Fifth place, lot 483, Dietrich Show Goats. Sixth place, lot 501, Oklahoma State University. Seventh place, lot 429, Redlands College. And eighth place, lot 411, Schieffer Livestock. We need first and second place from class 15 for division champion. First and second place from class 15. We need the following goats for overall selection of grand champion market weather. Lot 456 Beatty Show Goats, Lot 458 Beatty Show Goats, Lot 457 Beatty Show Goats, Lot 551 Oklahoma State University, Lot 459 Beatty Show Goats, Lot 424 News Livestock, Lot 475 AC3 Livestock, Lot 542 Smith Show Stock, Lot 538 Shaw Show Goats, Lot 533 JP Livestock, Lot 512, Peterson Livestock. Lot 530, Triple M Livestock. Lot 521, Rocktown Show Goats. Lot 520, Rocktown Show Goats.
We're still looking for lot 512 Peterson Livestock. Lot 512 Peterson Livestock. Your results for class 16, first place, lot 425, News Livestock. Second place, lot 430, Redlands College. Third place, lot 482, Dietrich Showgoats. Fourth place, lot 427, News Livestock. Fifth place, lot 484, Dietrich Showgoats. And lot six, or sixth place, lot 431, LK Farms. Well, a nice set of goats here to end up our last division, and uh, sort of that uh, second or the second to last class of that division here. And I think this is a high quality show goat. Uh, I like your goat in terms of his body shape. I like that fresh hard back this guy got on him, and then whenever you get to the side of him, he just puts it all together with a high quality look, good shape to his leg there. Uh, top line works together pretty good. Underline balance is good. Uh, that's just a pretty nice show goat. If you want to pick on him just a little, we could change his hind leg just a notch, uh, make him a little better there, but that's a really nice one there uh, that come out and won that particular class. I think another nice goat, uh, stout goat, uh, just in terms of feature comes out next. Uh, 
bladed, big forearm on there that's big in his center body, uh, got a nice hip and a hind leg on that guy. He just handles just a titch planer uh, as we compare him back to the one that goes out ahead of him. Gets just a little deep there in his body. Uh, for me, just a notch, but a really a high quality goat's got a good set of feet and legs and a, and a quality look when she gets him popped up from the side. Then we end up our, our heavyweight class and, and in here I just thought this goat here, he just kept working his way up. Uh, he's kind of, he's, he's good in terms of just a build standpoint. He's awesome in his chest. He, he's great in terms of his forearm. Uh, top line, get out here and when you get him plopped up from the side, really holds it in good underneath there he's got a great set of feet and legs and as this one here gets uh, moving in towards summer and gets a little chubbier and just just adds a little to that frame that he has that's an awfully nice one there we're going to pick on him a little bit he could handle a little bigger up top and he could be just a notch wider as you get up in the top part of that one's hip but i do like the build i like the quality and just the structure of that one the way he's put together goat over there is just a little bit ornery uh, right now uh, second in that particular class, but I thought he was real similar to our class champion. Uh, good built goat, especially as you study him up front. He's awesome in his chest. He's big in his blade. He's good in his center body. Everything kind of, the pieces all kind of fit. Like I said, he's a little bit hard to show, and at times uh, he wants to drop out there behind his shoulder just a little bit, get just a little steeper out of his hip and not quite handle that hind leg just accordingly as like you'd hope, uh, but a really a nice goat that has some pieces to build on like our class winner did. There's a pair of them out here that suit me just a little better, just in terms of their freshness, just in terms of the shape, the quality look that they give us from the side. The two that's going to be our winners are going to come out of this first class. Congratulations to you guys. A nice pair. Your heavyweight champion goes to lot four eighteen, Irwin Showgoats. And your reserve heavyweight goes to lot 476, AC, or, yeah, AC3 Livestock. Real quick, before we pick our, our champion overall weather, we just want to make a few announcements. First off, before anything, I'd like to thank Shannon Scotton for short, sorting our goats today and helping us set our sale order. If you all would, please give him a big round of applause. And then secondly, I'd like to uh, turn it over to Sadie to present an award we've been uh, giving out for a few years, and I'll turn it over to her. Thank you, Justin. Um, I thank you everybody for being here. We're really excited about this event. It's our, one of our most favorite weekends of the year, so, um, and a fun part that I get to do is I get to present an award to um, a high-class breeder that some of the hardest working, most humble um, operation that you can come across. So. Um, I, we would like to open our goat show, Grand Drive, by recognizing another 2024 Willoughby Sales Award winner. The Lasting Herdsman Award recognizes a selected breeder for their longevity and excellence in the show goat industry. This year's winner was chosen for their commitment to producing quality genetics as well as their dedication to supporting the family and farms that purchase their livestock. Once upon a time, there was a little kid in Idaho who wanted to show livestock, so his parents bought him two others for a local county fair. Who would have ever thought that that decision made 14 years ago would have turned into what is now Casper Farms, a viable agribusiness that produces well over 300 head a year. Casper Farms runs approximately 125 breeding does and 7 to 10 bucks at any given time, including both weather genetics and the Keller family is known for going above and beyond in their customer service, transporting animals personally, and remaining committed to helping buyers both in the barn and in the show ring. Over the years, the Keller family has transformed from a small family farm to a trusted and distinguished producer of some of the best show goats in the country. We are honored to award Karen, John, and Dylan this year as the Lasting Goat Herdsman Award. All right, let's get those other division winners in here and we'll pick an overall. 
While I got the mic here still, I just want to remind everyone the Friday Night Lights preview will begin at 4 o'clock. We will also, or, and then we will be selling those goats at 6 o'clock over, not at this ring, but the ring over by the sheep, or the block by the sheep ring. And then tomorrow morning we will begin at 10 o'clock. Yeah, all the goats that have shown today will sell at 10 o'clock tomorrow, right here at this block. And real quick, I'd also like to thank all of our sponsors one more time. Uh, Purina, Mountain View Machine. RSG, Reynolds Farm Equipment, Weaver Livestock, Kallenbach Feeds, DuraFirm, Auction Impact, For You to Win, Cambridge Technologies, Showright, Umbarger, Sullivan Supply, and 212 Livestock Products. We need pictures of the following lots. Lot 436, lot 520, lot 521. Heavyweight uh, yes. 455, 436. We also need pictures of the heavy division champion, lot 455, and the heavy di reserve division champion, lot 436 in the Doe Show. Well, as we wind up our uh, weather show, I want to congratulate all you exhibitors uh, that came through here today. Uh, really a nice set of goats. Uh, you guys done a nice job of getting them out here. You had them ready to show. They pre presented very well uh, and really enjoyed coming out here and, and having a chance to give you guys uh, my opinion on them. Uh, I'll tell you for sure, if you guys are watching it online or, or you're debating uh, or watching or talking to people or whatever, if you guys get a chance, this is my very first time, as I said earlier, uh, to be able to come out here. And, and um, if you guys get a chance at home and you guys have been wondering whether you need to come out and be a part of this, uh, I would tell you that it's been a very enjoyable day. Uh, there's a lot of nice stock out here. There's a lot of like-minded people uh, to set visit with and, and talk to and, and just enjoy the show and then whenever you get here uh, if you're looking to buy one or you're looking to, to show one this is a very very good place to come because there's uh, if you're looking to buy one there's one here for everybody there's a lot of different shapes kinds and builds and a lot of them that will match uh, 
a lot of different shows around the countryside in terms of maturity and, and, and just kinds in general. So, you guys, it's been, a, it's been a really good day out here. I've really enjoyed it. I'm really impressed with the goats that, that we had before us. Uh, I think there's two or three or four of them out here in this lineup uh, that you can grab out of here and, and pick an end point. And when you get there, hey, you might not win, but I'm going to tell you, if you don't, you'll be giving them all you want because uh, my family has an opportunity to, to judge a lot of goat shows between my two boys and I, and, and uh, we just kind of understand and know what's around. And, and these goats, uh, when they're built square, uh, they're bold body, they got a good touch to them, their feet and legs are good. Uh, that never really goes out of style, and you're always kind of in business uh, when you buy one like this and head to a show. So... I think it's been a very good show. I'm not going to go back and talk each one of these again. We talked them in division, and, and uh, for that, uh, I don't need to say a lot more. You guys uh, know what ones your favorites are. You, want, you guys know what fits your feed program, fits your endpoint best, and, and we'll let you decide from there. There's a couple of them out here that just suit me better. Uh, I like their builds. I like the quality, the kind they are. Uh, my crew, uh, if we can, we like to start at the ground and build them big. Uh, we like to open them up. We like to get a big hind leg and, and a wide open hip on them if we can, and then and then put some quality with that. And I think there's a couple out here uh, do that very, 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 very well. There's one out here that I like the best, and I think is he if he everything goes his way. Uh, regardless of the species you're talking about, when you get one that's got a hip and a hind leg like this, that's opened up like that from behind, that's got a big soft hind leg like that and gets out and moves and, and uses it accordingly, and then the rest of it kind of goes with him. When you talk about his blade, his forearm, just the way he balances up, I think he's very, very good. The one that's going to come out next uh, behind him, I'll tell you this one here, it's, he's a show goat. He's a bold bodied big forearm when it gives us a great look from the side. He's opened up. When she gets him planted out here from the side, he's awfully nice to look at. He needs to be changed just a little bit there as he transitions in his hip just a little bit. And you guys can see the same thing I can, but the way that ties in, it doesn't tie down low. He's one that can get, uh, when he gets chubby and all that starts to blend, I can see that and being a, a, a sure a handful as he works out of here. If you guys would, uh, the ring staff uh, here has been tremendous today. Let's give them a nice hand. Thanks, Dan and Carol, you guys, for having me. I've really enjoyed it. You had a nice show. You put on an incredible event, and it was just nice to be able to be here and be a part of it. So thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. We get out here and pick our champions. You guys, give them one more round of applause. I'll go pick our winners. What a nice show.